Wow, the market is changing so fast, it's hard to believe. So I wanted to do something really quick here. So this may not be a very long video, we'll see. Uh, I'm doing a market update and this isn't the full one that I normally do. This is kind of a mini market update so you can kind of see what's going on right now because just market's changing and I'm starting to see a lot of activity and right now we have fewer houses on the market and buyers because of what's happening with the interest rates are really starting to ramp it up. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, right now we have 138 new listings, 27 back on the market, price decreases of 184, increases, which I don't understand, especially in this market of 14, 52 plus, I'm sorry, 55 plus 92, 147 on the market, which is more than the new listings. So we have a positive sign here with 71 sold over the last 24 hours. Let's go back one solid week. Let's see what we get here. Uh, 776, 174, decreases of 808, increases of 66, and 604 and 355, which is... 9.59, ouch, over 125 more than came on the market in the last week, which shows how fast the market is changing. So let's go ahead and see if you can get ahead of it. 594 sold, 400 expireds, uh, 204 withdrawns. A lot of those are gonna be people who don't want to uh, take the reality of the market uh, and conditionally drawns are 113, which is pretty much the same folks. Now let's go ahead and see what the market looks like right now. Okay, so let's just see how much we have for actives. And I like to break this down to Las Vegas, North Las Vegas and Henderson. Okay, there we go. So right now, overall, Of course, we have more than 5,000, which still is good because uh, not too long ago, we didn't have 5,000 total. So total, we have 6,754. Oh my goodness. This is about 3,300 less than we had a couple of months ago. Okay, let's go ahead and break this down by single family and such. So single family, we have... 5,403 with the average list price right now of 764 and the median of 485. Uh, condos 750 and townhomes 528. Now let's get to the nitty gritty. Let's see what has sold over the last, well, we're not going to do 30 days. We'll do uh, last month, kind of most of the numbers should be in, but this is just gonna be a mini review. So let's start with our townhomes. 173 sold for a average price of 328, and the list price was 337. So uh, again, we're still selling under list. Median list is 333, 325 is the median. Wow, median and Average are really close on that. Let's get into the condominiums. Okay, 216 sold. 299 list, 276 close. Interesting, 225 and 215 for the close for the median. So still below. And let's see what the single family homes are bringing us. So 1262. And ooh, I believe that is down. So, okay, the average list was 557. Average close was 536. The median list was 440 with the median close of 425. Okay, let's see how we uh, ended last year and then we'll take comparisons. So, units sold. 1534. Let's look at the pop up. Median price. And guess what? The price is actually stabilized. 
I said I thought it was down. It is not. We have stabilized. Okay, everybody, we've got our mini market update going on. We can see that uh, things are starting to turn around. There's less properties out there. Interest has gone up. Uh, I believe they've said that um, mortgage applications have gone up 28%. And we're starting to see it in the numbers. And if I were to go back, go ahead and do something really interesting here. Let's do what happened over the last two weeks to kind of see where we're at since things have changed. Now, remember, we have a 60-day lag, and that's how we kind of can't know when things are going on in the market. So let's change this, and we're going to do sold in the last two weeks. And we'll just do sold for the last two weeks. Uh, in two weeks, we had, wow, 1057 sold. And let's see what the results are. Oops, let me make sure I got that on uh, single family. 788, so we double it about the same as last month. Let's look at the results. And it's the same. So we held pretty steady throughout the month of January. Uh, so the numbers are, when the official numbers come out, should still be the same. Uh, holding steady is finally good. It's kind of like the opposite when everything was going up and up and up and up and up and you get a month of reprieve and you're like, oh my goodness, finally it's done. And then it went up and up and up and then we crested over and then it get, kept going down since... Um, Last like April or May, down, 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 down. Uh, we're finally going to have a month where it just stabilizes. So this is leading into, and I would probably say next month is either going to be stabilization or it may even pop up just a little bit. I don't think anybody is being crazy right now because the, the buyers, I don't think anybody is being crazy right now because the buyers are still making low ball offers. And I know you've been hearing about the multiple showings, which is true. Uh, that house I talked about, it's back on the market because the, I don't know why, the buyer just canceled, won't give an answer, which is really bad considering they didn't ask, ask for any repairs or anything and had no issues, then just out of the blue, canceled. I really want to know why. Uh, but anyway, first day back, I've had um, three uh, showings in one day. That tells you something. And... Another listing I had that's been a problem child of mine, got a good offer tonight. So feeling really good. Anyway, that's your quick market report. And if you ever want to contact me, my information is down below. Call, text, email. Also get on my calendar if you want to. And of course, if you want to, but I would really like it, subscribe.